In this section, we're going to talk about uh, your menu items. So when you bring your camera on, it's always going to flash to this screen. But if I hit my information button here at the bottom, it changes the screen to gray. Now I can move this around uh, by just using the up and down buttons here. Okay, let me try that again. This is a section we're going to talk about the menu buttons. Um, this menu always comes up. If it goes away, you can hit the information button or you can hit your shutter release button and this will come up. Once this screen has come up, you're going to hit the information button again and it will change your screen to gray. Now I can use the dial here to move and then the OK button to select. When I get to the bottom, I can go to the left or right. So as I am going through these to look at these, you have starting from the top your image quality. Your image quality should be set to fine. This is a JPEG um, and it's the highest quality JPEG. You have raw, which means it's taking everything off the sensor. You always want that on fine. You always want your file image size to be large so it gives you the most information. White balance usually would be on auto, but I can change that white balance and it's telling me what it's trying to look for in those pictures. Again, keep it on auto. On manual modes, you can adjust the ISO. 100 to 200 would be for outdoor pictures. 400 is universal. 800 and higher would be for indoor. And it shows you pictures here that show you uh, instances you would want to use them. Please do not use the high one or two. Uh, going down the window further, um, your focus area is uh, the area mode. And that simply needs to be on the first one. Uh, as you move down these, it will focus on multiple areas. We want it to focus just on one bracket in the center. The next one down is your metering, how the light meter is going to look for light. We want it to be on the bottom one spot meter, and I'll explain that more in class. And that's it.